Uh, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with the Times of Dr. News. News from in around the universe that may or may not affect you on a mere miniature type level. You know, kind of like that stupid ticking clock on BBC America that really don't make any damn sense. But, um, yeah, that's still going on as far as I know. I think there's like one more tick. It's like every two couple of days they were putting that thing up where it's still ticking down. The second. And it's like so far it's been hooey. Unless something's coming out this weekend, we don't know. Or it could be bank holiday on Monday, which is, you know, for the, you know, the Brits. Maybe something's popping up then. We don't know. But it's kind of weird, though, that they're only putting this out on BBC America. Strange. Now, don't freak out over the Sunday thing yet, because from what I'm being told, the reason why they had 23rd, the 23rd of September on that particular calendar, or at least the one theory is, is because that's technically the beginning of the fall season. And I think they're making a prediction that it's, it might land on that day or that it's coming in the fall. We don't know. The problem is, the side reel page, as far as we know, was outdated, or at least the one someone was holding up saying, look, it's still listed as Saturdays. But, you know, until we get a confirmation from the BBC, do not panic yet. But like I said, moving it to Sunday would be a bad idea. And it's like, yeah, sure, there's no competition on there. But when you think about it, on BBC America, if it airs, say, around 8 p.m. or even 7 p.m. on BBC America, it's going to be going up against Sunday night football amongst a major lineup of shows that they, you know, a lot of the other networks have thrown out there now. So kind of may, you know, like I said, it's a bad idea. Not to mention the fact that, you know, Australians won't be getting it. Now, some folks do watch it live there, but that, I, what I meant to say, and I can't believe I forgot, I think it was AJ and somebody else reminded me, it doesn't become available on their, the ABC player down there until shortly after it airs on BBC One. So that means they're not going to have Doctor Who available to watch until anywhere around uh, 5 to 7 in the morning. So you can kill your ratings in the five cities right there. And, of course, I've told you about what will happen. With BBC America, it'll be losing their number one Saturday night show. But like I said, do not panic yet. We'll have to wait and see. But I don't know why there's been this big major secrecy about the air date. Like, yo, the whole show is going to explode. And of course, League Gate 2018 is going on. I'm still dying laughing because of, we shut down DWSR. No, you didn't. That's good. They're still taking photos all over South Africa, Waycog, uh, see Gosport, uh, Sheffield, uh, just to name a few off the top of my head, the Park Hill Flats we got photos from and all that. So it's just a lot of the regulars went underground because of all the stupid hatred that's running around out there. And it's kind of scary about phantom hatred. I, I can do a whole, I may have to do a live stream on it because it's just amazing to me the sad, sick things that goes on in fandom where fans shame other fans for us stupid things, and it's just ugh, crazy. All right, let's get to what news I do have. Like I said, nothing major on Series 11 tonight because we're still eagerly awaiting you know, a premiere date as well as the show itself. So, And away we go. Okay, if you go over to the abc.net page over here, um, they have a poll going on. What are your five all-time favorite Doctor Who episodes from the last 12 years? Which episode do you love the most? Before we welcome the newest Doctor at ABC, we're inviting you, the fans, to vote, the top, the fans to vote. The top 20 episodes with the most votes will feature on the iView in a special collection long, before the long-anticipated return of Series 11 later this year. And this, you have, all right, you have, if you want to go vote on this, you know, and you're in Aussie, voting closes at midnight on this Sunday. So you got a whole lot of time, but if you want to go do it, there it is for you. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, now, the American version, and I don't know, they're just confusing the living shit out of people with this complete season one horse shit on every Doctor's collection. Like, what are they going to put on the season 10 one, the complete third Doctor series two? You see, it, it just, I don't know why they're doing that. It's series freaking 19 for crying out loud. Get, get it right. But do not count on these titles because, or I'm sorry, on this date, because keep in mind, the last one had this really weird, outrageous release date for the American version, and it got bumped up like crazy for a while there. So if you want to pre-order this, this is up over on Amazon. It's going to cost you 70 bucks on Blu-ray plus shipping. But once again, you know, for what I've seen with the quality of the work that they've done with the Tom Baker one, this is definitely something you don't want to pass up. So keep your eyes out on this, all right? 
Okay, over at the Carnegie Science Center, and this is over in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They're doing Dr. Trek Wars. Um, way caught up. Boom, 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 September 15th. So basically, it's going to be like Whovians, Trekkies, Star Wars fans. It's time to vote for your favorite universe. Come join us for an epic clash of fandoms as we put Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Star Wars head to head in a series of activities, live demonstrations, and challenges. Suit up as your favorite characters. You traverse on a galactic journey through the Science Center's floor, four floors of hands on exhibits, and counter fan favorites of each universe. So for general admission tickets, you can go here. And all the other stuff you need to know is right here. So. And this will be starting September 20, sorry, September 15th at 10 a.m. So that is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the Carnegie Science Center. All the info you need is right here. Okay, this is Return of the Matt over on Anglophenia. And basically, <laughs> Matt Smith has resurfaced because Karen Gillen's probably kicking him out of the pool house. So <laughs> Matt's been doing a few interviews this week and met up with his old friend James Corden, who left on the chance to confront him with some Whovian tattoos. So, and a bunch of other nifty little videos here and there. Plus, you know, the announcement about Marjorie Blackman going on as the Doctor Who's first black screenwriter. Ugh. And Peter McTeague. Now, if you've seen the Javanka Airlines bit, he wrote that. So, interesting stuff going on. Here you go. Moving on. This December sees the release of the Dalek Audio Annual a collection of vintage stories from Terry Nation's Dalek Annuals of the 70s, read by the stars of Doctor Who. So, if you're into these, they're also available for pre-order on Amazon. Here you go. You know, really nifty stuff for the olden times. Moving on, Bill Potts joins Character Options Doctor Who lineup. Um, they've released details of another new item in the Doctor Who collection, the Bill Potts Collector figure. This fully articulated, far fully articulated five-inch scale Bill Potts action figure has 13 points of articulation and depicts Bill just as shown in the series with leather trousers, high tops, and multicolored vest. Lesbianism not included. No, I'm kidding. Um, so new figure is now available from Amazon if you're into it. Uh, and lastly, for today, an update for the Season 12 collection replacement discs. Now, like I said, some of the discs, most of them that I heard of that were defective were in the UK. But if you do need a replacement discs, here's some more info on it. Here you go, da 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 all the details you need on this page, all right? So what happened was is I heard it was there was like no sound on uh, parts of the Santaran experiment. And also something about the info text does, was not working on uh, Reven or sorry, yeah, Revenge of the Cybermen. So if you are having that difficulty, collection or sorry, replacement discs for that collection are now available. So once again, it, like I said, it's going to be kind of quiet news-wise. Um, I'm putting the Omega files on a hiatus for a couple of weeks so we find out what's going on. Um, I'm thinking about throwing out a poll. You know, what kind of topic would you like to see the guys discuss? Um, because we were going to do Black Panther, but everybody got tied up. Everybody got tied up. And then it's like, I didn't watch the movie. Yet, so I finally just said, screw it. We're, we're not going to do it. It's gotten to be too late for this point anyway. So you're not going to get a Black Panther Omega Files, unfortunately. We're not discriminatory. It's just things happen, you know. Uh, so once again, if, you, if there's something you'd like to see Omega Files discuss, go ahead and bounce, us a, bounce me a comment below in the description box. Uh, sorry, in the comment box. And we'll, you know, take a look at it. Maybe we'll vote on it. and Maybe we'll pull one out before, you know, the, the series returns. Well, I got to get going, folks. So take care, Tata. -ta. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. See you later. Oh, my God. He's bald. Ah! <laughs> take care of yourselves. Good night.